Hello guys, welcome to today's Python top tip tutorial. Today's Python top tip tutorial is about enumerate function in Python. This enumerate function is a built-in function and a very useful function to uh, return the length of an iterable and lupus royalties items simultaneously. Thus, while printing each item in an iterable data type, it simultaneously outputs its index. Let us assume that you want a user to see the list of items available in your database. You can pass the data into a list and use the enumerate function to return this as a number the list. So this is very useful function to just print out the uh, items in uh, as a numbered list. So how uh, how can this uh, how can we achieve this using the enum enumerate function? Let's try to see an example. We have a list of fruits and apple, orange, mango, etc. And you want to uh, just print out the item index along with the item uh, and to see. Uh, as a number, just you can pass the list of items into the function and iterate over the item. So for every index and item in enumerate uh, function, then the list of items is going to be passed to the enumerate function. And we are going to print out the index as a number to the item, uh, respective item. Okay, let's try to see the output of this example. Okay. We see that the first, the index of uh, apple is zero, index zero and orange and, and so on. It continues. Uh, so this index is just the number that represents the item at the position of the item in the list. Uh, so this enumerate function can achieve this kind of uh, example. So, uh, so the user wanted to see the list of items available in your database and uh, as a numbered list. So this enumerate function very useful to do these tasks. And uh, we can also use an uh, alternative way to print out the items in their index using for loop. So, but it, it, uh, for every i in range of lengths fruits, just the lengths of the fruits. And for uh, i is the index zero, starts from zero, and we call that index to uh, fruits, list of fruits, and uh, we get the same result. Uh, with the enumerate function, but the simplest way is using the enumerate function. But uh, let's you customize how your numbered items can throw. Uh, and in a sense, you can decide to start numbering from one instead of zero by including a start parameter or by passing a start parameter to the enumerate function. So here the number starts from zero because it takes the index of the or the position of the items in the list. So instead of that, you can also customize the numbers starts from one uh, by passing start start with one. So it's going to be uh, just starts from one, two, three, four, five. That's a good way of to listing the items as a number. And uh, in the for loop, you can also increment by one, just plus one to the position of the item. So you get the same there. So this is today's top tip. So I hope you like this video tutorial scene. Also uh, stay with me, receive up-to-date information uh, resources about Python, data science, machine learning, and so on. Subscribe, like, share my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today.